some of the recordings we had to use only came from this work print that was in horrible shape. Only five, 10 years ago, it wouldn't be possible to save these tracks. That was the hard work, and that's where Isotopes uh, RX really came in and saved us. There's been several attempts over the years to put the movie together, but it's been integral parts of the movie that has been missing. It's literally been locked up in storage across the world. We had retransfers of original quarter-inch tapes, and that was about 30% of the movie. And then the remaining 70% was cut from old work print that Orson lost touch in like the early 80s. Guess who joined us? Herman the German. Herman. So here we are. We have recordings from the 70s that has been uh, transferred multiple times. We're guessing four different transfers between Beta SP, Umatic, 35 millimeter, quarter inch, over the eons. So it's pretty noisy. And here is the original copy of the sound. Guess who joined us? Herman the German. Herman. Uh, how's the boy? And this is the final result after the mix. Guess who joined us? Herman the German. Hermie? How's the boy? Some of the actors have been part of this project since it was recorded in the early 70s. And uh, we had a reaction from one of the actors that he said for the first time in 50 years he can actually hear his own dialogue. For us to be able to recover his performance and present it to him, with all the other elements, that was uh, an amazing <laughs> reward to get. Without the RX, we couldn't have uh, completed this. With RX, there are so many ways to achieve your goal, and it's very open-ended, so you can choose your own workflow, because all the modules have uh, different advantages and work different ways. So if I get stuck with something, I just take whatever plugin is next in line and just try it and see what it does. It's like a color box. You can do whatever you want. It's just pick and mix, mix and match between different modules. And, and that's what I like about it. Okay, so here we have a piece where it's both roomy and different performances cut together roughly 40, 50 years ago. So we're going to start out and take the hum out on this one. We don't have everything. Leave it to Jake. Pretty soon you'll have too much. We're going to try dialogue isolate here. Well, we, we don't have everything. Leave it to Jake, pretty soon you'll have too much. That gets us into the pocket pretty quickly. Let's do a little manual denoising on top here. Well, we, we don't have everything. Leave it to Jake, pretty soon you'll have too much. Well, we, we don't have everything. Leave it to Jake, pretty soon you'll have too much. Well, we, we don't have everything. Leave it to Jake, pretty soon you'll have too much. And this is our final product after the mix. Well, we, we don't have everything. Leave it to Jake, pretty soon you'll have too much. Technology has advanced so much now, so we actually can finish the movie in 2018, which wasn't possible 10, 15 years ago. And RX is, on the sound side, the tool that saved us from all the noise that had been accumulated during transfer over 50 years. So what's really cool is that we finished uh, Orson Welles' last movie here at Paramount, where he actually shot his first movie in 1941, Citizen Kane. It's been an interesting journey for the movie. It's been very rewarding for us to be part of this project, and we're super honored. But this is where it all started. Stage 19, Citizen Kane, 1941.